First in the spotlight tonight, the Game of Thrones actor John Bradley. His specialist subject, Auf Wiedersehen, pet. <laughs> Next, the Olympic gold medal winner, Krista Cullen. She'll be asking questions on African mammals. The BBC Radio 1 Extra presenter Nick Bright takes as his subject UK grime. And the Hollyoaks actress Anna Patsy on Wilfred Owen. Hello and welcome to Celebrity Mastermind with me, John Humphreys, and four brave souls who volunteered to risk their reputations in the black chair. It probably seemed a good idea at the time. Facing them, 90 seconds of questions on their specialist subject, two minutes on general knowledge, and all in the name of charity. So let's ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? John Bradley. Your chosen charity? Uh, the Christie. And your chosen subject? Alvi Zane Pet. In 90 seconds, starting now, what is the name of the actor who plays the belligerent Irish worker McGowan, whom Oz allows to move into the gang's hut in Dusseldorf when he's thrown out of the workers' hostel? Michael Elphick. Yep. In what British overseas territory are Barry and Oz shown working together at the start of Series 2? The Falkland Islands. Yep. The landlord, Arthur Pringle, runs a pub whose front door is bricked up by the boys because of the number of times he's refused to serve them. Which pub? The Barley Mow. Yes, who plays the dodgy businessman Ali Fraser? He employs the gang to convert Thornley Manor, a listed building in Derbyshire, into a nursing home. Bill Patterson? Yep. What song does Oz sing at the Country and Western pub as a special guest artist called Big Willie Osborne in the episode Cowboys in I Series 2? Sorry, I Can't Be Myself? Yep. What job is Dennis doing when he's summoned to Middlesbrough ostensibly for Oz's funeral at the start of Series 3? Taxi driver. Yep. In the episode Scoop, what society does Barry tell a nosy journalist the gang belong to in order to maintain the pretense that they're in Malaga on holiday rather than to work? The journalist immediately suspects the gang of the so-called Sheffield payroll robbers. The Wolverhampton and District Aqualung Society. Exactly. What is the name of the fussy manager of the building site in Dusseldorf, played by Michael Sheard? Herr Grimwald. Yep. At what quasi-religious festival does Barry eat a hallucinogenic herb whose effects cause him to crash the gang's van? Pass. What is Fidel Castro's valuable antique gift to the British Embassy that the boys have to collect from Fidel's country residence? A painting? No, a bath. In the episode Moonlighting, what animals do the boys bet on when they see them being raced in a form of roulette? Moxie gets one himself and calls it Seymour. Cockroaches? <laughs> a guinea pig. Oh. I know. Difference, isn't there? Cockroaches, guinea pigs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. John, you had one pass that a quasi-religious festival where Barry at the dodgy drug was Santeria Festival. Oh, OK. You have scored eight points. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And our next contender, please. And your name is? Krista Cullen. Your chosen charity? Is Tusk Trust. And your chosen subject? African mammals. African mammals in 90 seconds. Here we go. What name is given to mature male gorillas because of the colour that the middle of their backs, known as the saddle, become as they age? Silverback. Yep. Which burrowing members of the mongoose family that live in the drier regions of southwest Africa have become famous for the upright stance they use to survey their surroundings for predators? Meerkat. Yep. Hook-lipped and square-lipped are alternative names for the two African species of what large mammal? Rhinoceros. Yep. The Galagos are nocturnal primates with long tails, soft woolly fur and large forward-facing eyes and ears. What's their more common name? Pass. In what country are the Simeon Mountains that are the home of very rare species such as the long-haired Gelida baboon and the Walia ibex? Ethiopia. Yeah. Which animal whose basic diet consists of ants and termites has a long snout that ends in a hairy disc, robust limbs with spade-like claws for digging and tubular teeth? Aardvark. Yes. The okapi, the giraffe's sole living relative that was unknown to Western science until 1901, is found only in the rainforests in the upper reaches of a major African river and its tributaries. Which river? Nile. The Congo. By what name of African origin is the pygmy chimpanzee, a native of the central African rainforest, often known? The Congo. Bonobo. Which endangered species of zebra native to East Africa is the largest of the zebras? It's named after a president of France who received one in about 1882 as a present from the emperor of Ethiopia. Grevies. Yes. What sound made by humans has the shrill cry characteristically made by the spotted hyena been likened to? 
parcel. The caracal and the serval are found in many parts of Africa. Of what family are they members? Carnivores. The cat okay. family. Um, you had a couple of passes. The, uh, the spotted hyena has a laugh or a, a, almost a giggle. Cackle, yeah. Cackle, that'll do it. Um, and um, the galagos are bush babies. Oh. Yeah, I know those very, very sweet things Cute. that everybody goes all oh, about, but they're bush babies. Krista, you've scored six points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is... Nick Bright. And your chosen charity? Teenage Cancer Trust. And your chosen subject? UK Grime. UK Grime in 90 seconds. What is the title of Dizzy Rascal's debut studio album that features the tracks Just a Rascal and Fix Up Look Sharp? Boy in the Corner. Yep. What is the title of the compilation battle series released by Jammer? Lord of the Mics. Yep. What's the name of the pirate radio station that provided a platform for grime music when it was founded by DJs Genius and Slimzy in 1994? Rinse FM. Yep. Which rapper released the song whose lyrics state that if you're talking the hardest, he had better pop up in your thoughts as an artist? Gigs. Yep. Which Liberal Democrat MP is credited with helping to launch the career of Tinchy Strider because he remortgaged his house to provide funds for his son to set up Takeover Entertainment, who managed Tinchy? It's, ah, it's Jack and Archie pass. Whose 2004 single, POW, reached number 11 in the UK singles charts? Lethal Bizzle. Yep. What word refers to an early form of the grime genre and is used specifically in relation to the works of Wiley? It's based on the title of one of his records. Eskimo. Esky Beat. Who founded the Boy Better Know collective and record label with his brother JME in 2005? Skepta. Yep. Which grime MC released a video to his track I Can See You on Channel U that's considered one of the earliest grime music videos along with Dizzy Rascal's I Love You and Wiley's What Do You Call It? Crazy Titch. Yep. Which English rapper has released albums called Home Sweet Home, London Town and Made in the Manor, all of which reached the top 40 of the UK album charts? Kano. Yep. Stormzy, Crept and Conan all grew up in which district in the London borough of Croydon? Uh, Thornton Heath. Yes. And that's it. We're out of time. You had uh, one pass. It was Norman Lamb. <sighs> that was the politician whose name we were after, the Lib Dem MP. Nick, you've scored nine points. <clears throat> and our final contender, please. And your name is? Anna Passy. Your chosen charity? The Blue Cross. And your chosen subject? The First World War Poetry of Wilfred Owen. Wilfred <laughs> Owen. The great Wilfred Owen in 90 seconds. Which poem was drafted while he was recovering from shell shock and begins with an image of trudging soldiers bent double like old beggars under sacks? Dolce et Cormas. Yes. The show begins with a misquoted epigraph from a play by an Irish poet who was a considerable influence on Owen. Who was he? Uh, WB8. Yes. Which poem about psychologically damaged veterans sitting in twilight in a hospital ward had a working title of The Deranged? Mental Cases. Yes. The eyes of a member of Owen's unit are described as huge bulged like squids after he's blinded by a severe bombardment of the trench. In which poem? The Century. Yes. Owen uses para or half rhymes in his poem Strange Meeting where he half rhymes groined with what word at the end of the next line? Pass. Which poem reflects on a dead soldier and begins with a wish to move him into the sun? Futility. Yes. In Owen's description of the long grass swirled by the breeze, he reveals the month that the spring offensive takes place. Which month? May. Yes. The poem that opens on a scene in which soldiers line the train on their way to the front ends with too few for drums and yells creeping back up half-known roads. Which poem? The send-off. Yep. Which creatures seen on the ground from above in the poem, the show, slowly uncoiled and seemed to push themselves to be as plugs of ditches? Caterpillars. Yes. Which poem, written after Owen read accounts of the mini pit disaster of 1918, ends, but they will not dream of us poor lads lost in the ground? Minus. Yes. In Disabled, what was the false age that the recruiting officers smilingly wrote on the young soldiers' enlistment form? 19. Yes. Which ironically titled poem consists of three five-line stanzas that all begin with the final exclamations of three anonymous soldiers as they are suddenly killed. The last laugh? Yes, the last laugh. You had one pass, that um, half rhyme, groined and groaned. Thank you. But, Anna, you have scored 11 points. Oh, wow. Thank you.
Well, a close first round. Let's have a look at uh, all of the scores. In fourth place, six points, Krista. Third place, eight points, John. Second place, nine points, Nick. First place, 11 points, Anna. So it is a general knowledge right now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. So let us get on with it and ask Chris to join us again, please. And, uh, Krista, impossible to think of you without that wonderful game which uh, won us the gold medal. What has it done for the game of hockey? We've had an 80% increase in participation in our sport off the back of the Olympic gold. 80%. So, yeah, with, with kids, boys and girls. And it's our job now to nurture that and make sure. But, you know, a lot of women's sport's been really successful. Rugby, football, yeah. to name a few, cricket. Yeah. You know, it's really important that we keep these kids playing hockey for as long as we possibly can. But I'm always encouraging them to do a bit of everything and enjoy themselves. So. When you're playing in a game like that, it, it, it is going to decide whether you win the gold or not. Do you approach it differently in any way at all? No, not at all. We actually just did the same things. It sounds so monotonous because everyone's like, but it's the Olympic final. But it was exactly that. We just literally rocked up, sat next to the same people on the bus, listened to the same music, prepared the same way. But the Dutch were obviously world number one and we were world number seven. So uh, it was firmly in their court. And the way they played, obviously, they were the better team on the day. But we just were able to convert when we needed to in that sport. And I think we, were, we, we did well. Well, let's see how you do with this competition. You've got six points, plenty of time to catch up the others because right. you've got two minutes of general knowledge starting okay. now. On which London common did the Wombles live? Wimbledon. Yes. In what 2017 West End stage musical does Miranda Hart play the orphanage boss, Miss Hannigan? Uh, Anne Frank. Annie. Which Canadian city takes its name from the 233-metre-high Mount Royal that it was built up and around? Ottawa. Montreal. What word originally used for someone who steers a ship out of a port is also used now for someone who operates the controls of an aircraft? Captain. Pilot. In what Olympic sport has the women's singles gold medal been won by Chinese competitors from its introduction in 1988 to the 2016 Rio Games? Badminton. Table tennis. The asteroid 2602, discovered in 1982, is named in honour of a very famous television presenter and astronomer. Who was he? Richard Arman. Patrick Moore. What name of African origin is given to the religion practised in many parts of the Caribbean, especially in Haiti, that combines elements of Roman Catholicism with traditional African rituals? War dance. Voodoo. Which main line railway station was opened in 1852 as the London terminus of the Great Northern Railway? It serves destinations such as Leeds and York. London. King's Cross. The name of which form of musical entertainment means works in Italian? Pass. Who wrote the play Peter Pan, The Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up? Anne Frank, no, no idea. J.M. Barry. Which American composer's film scores include the Indiana Jones series, the Star Wars films and the first three Harry Potter films? Pass. Which film star, who was born in Paris in 1934, became an outspoken animal rights activist and established an animal welfare organisation named after her in the 1980s? Um, uh, Fosse. Bridget Bardo. Carol Decker was the vocalist of the popular 80s band who took their name from a Star Trek character. Which band? Pass. What blend of tea owes its distinctive flavour to the use of the oil of the bergamot, a small acidic orange? Tangerine. Earl Grey. Tony Fletcher's 2017 book in the Midnight Hours, a biography of which soul singer? Name a soul singer. Any soul singer. <laughs> Tracy Chapman. No, no, no quite. Idea. Wilson Pickup. Three passes, uh, Krista Tapau was that popular 80s band. John Williams was the American composer who wrote the score for Indiana Jones, etc. And that form of musical entertainment means works in Italian opera. Mm. How about that? You've now got, Krista, seven points. <laughs> John, again, please. And you start out, John, with uh, eight points. Mm. And you are famous for Game of Thrones and your character, Sam Tarly. Yeah. Who's a, one of the nice characters. Yeah, which isn't difficult, to be fair, given... Well, no, <laughs> it's true, they're a pretty tough lot, aren't they? Yeah, I, I think <clears throat> part of the reason of the success of the show is that all humanity is there. 
you get very, very bad people, you get good people, but you get a lot of people in the middle who are quite conflicting, and I think that's true for most people. And most dramas these days, you, it's very rare you find a drama where you 100% like or dislike somebody. There's mm. conflict with all of them. And, and your success was really quite extraordinary. I mean, you'd hardly left drama school. I auditioned for the show, the first round of auditions while I was at drama school, mm. and then it was my first job when I got out. People say, were you nervous auditioning for a big show like that was your first audition? But I would have been nervous no matter what the audition was. Right, well, in this game, uh, you've got eight points and you've now got two minutes of general knowledge. Okay. Let's see what you do with that. Here okay. we go. In the Bible, who built an ark and took on board pairs of animals to escape the flood? Noah. Yep. Which stage and film musical by Lerner and Lowe is an adaptation of George Bernard Shaw's play Pygmalion? My Fair Lady. Yep. What name, popularised in a wartime song, is given to the line of chalk cliffs where the North Downs meet the English Channel? White Cliffs of Dover. Yep. Whose work of art, Impression Sunrise, painted at Le Havre in 1872, gave the Impressionist movement its name? Pass. What six-a-side game that developed in Canada is divided into three 20-minute periods, with each period started by a face-off? Netball? Ice hockey. Mm. Auraki is the original Maori name for a mountain in New Zealand's Southern Alps. Which mountain? Pass. On which planet, named after a goddess, do the main geographical features have the names of real or mythological women? Venus. Yep. What term for an equestrian event, typically for children, comes from a Hindi or Urdu word for ball house? Jim Karner. Yes. What cocktail is often said to have got its name from the tool used to stir it after vodka had been added to canned orange juice? Screwdriver. Yes. What is the title of Ed Sheeran's chart-topping 2017 album? Tracks from it filled nine of the top ten places in the singles chart. Pass. What type of small, hairy-footed creature is Bilbo Baggins, created by J.R.R. Tolkien? Hobbit. Yep. Robin Williams and Pam Dorber played the title characters in a television comedy series about an alien living in America. What's it called? Mork and Mindy. Yep. Of which African country was Robert Mugabe the first Prime Minister from 1980 to 87 when he became Executive President? Zimbabwe? Yes. The name of what period of the Christian church calendar that leads up to Christmas comes from the Latin for arrival? Advent. Yes. Who wrote the Dark Tower series of novels? He's famous for writing horror fiction. Philip Pullman. Stephen King. What's oh. the title of the Scottish song which is traditionally sung at midnight on New Year's Eve in many English-speaking countries? Old Lang Syne. Yep. Which Scottish comedian stars as a former lawyer turned fisherman called Steve Myers in the 2001 film The Man Who Sued God? Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly is correct. And you had uh, three passes. Okay. The title of that uh, Ed Sheeran album, the big one, was Divide. Divide yeah. Yep, you knew it. Mm. Auraki is the uh, Maori name for Mount Cook. And Money was the impressionist gotcha. in question. But, John, you've now got a total of 20 points. Thank you. Now, Nick, again, please. And uh, you um, are the expert on grime. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Well, I, I know it's my stuff. all relative, isn't it? Give me and uh, all our viewers the Bluffer's Guide to Grime. It's music that was made by people in their bedrooms through frustration, uh, not getting supported anywhere else. You know, uh, there was UK Garage, which m people may know or may not know. It's kind of like a dance music genre. Um, but that was more about kind of blingy things, champagne, nightclubs, whereas grime is more about... Street. Count, yeah, council estates and, you know, kids with no money. But you're not, as it were, meant to hum along with it, are you, really? Well, I find myself doing it in my car quite a bit, <laughs> you? you know. Give uh, us a bit. Go on, give us a bit of grime. You want Anything. me to sing on oh, TV, yeah. right? Well, not really sing. Go on, just give us a, a flavour. We'll do the start of, of Too Many Men. Go on. So, shorty, yeah, rep BBK, Monday to Sunday, I'm like BBK, Jamie Skepta, Wiley, Frisco Maximum, yeah, that's BBK, add me to the list, that's BBK, can't forget Sam, that's BBK. I see a lot of guys doing this thing, but none of them flex like BBK. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I'm not going to try to top that. I was about to ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Brilliant. Thank you for that. You've got nine points in this particular game, Nick. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. 20 is the score to beat as it stands. Here we go. In which American state is Houston, the largest city, and Austin, the capital? Texas. Yep. What's the name of Bertie Wooster's resourceful manservant in the stories by P.G. Woodhouse? Pass. What vegetable known in America as zucchini is a variety of marrow usually eaten when it's young and immature? 
Courgette. Yep. Yeah. Which of the Gilbert and Sullivan operettas is set in Cornwall or has the alternative title The Slave of Duty? Pass. What name for someone who typically installs and mends pipes for the supply of water, gas and household drainage originally meant a worker in lead? Plumber. Yep. Who won the Best Actress Oscar in 2002 for her role in the film Monster's Ball as the wife of an executed prisoner? Oh, oh no, the pass. What popular term for the entrance to heaven has its origin in chapter 21, verse 21 of the Book of Revelation? Uh, the, the, the gates of heaven. Pearly, Pearly gates. gates. Under what pen name has Harry Patterson written thrillers such as The Eagle Has Landed? Pass. Which American singer and songwriter had a third UK number one album in August 2017 with Lust for Life? Mm, pass. What is the title of the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical based on a 2003 film in which a musician called Dewey Finn poses as a substitute teacher at a prestigious prep school and tries to turn a class of students into a successful band? School of Rock. Yep. What sculpture by Rodin was inspired by the passionate love affair between Francesca da Rimini and her husband's brother Paolo Malatesta? Statue of David. Uh, the Kiss. What painful condition of the toe, especially the big toe, is known as onychocryptosis? Ingrown toenail. Yes. What name is given to the flexible stick strung with fibres that produces sound when it's drawn across the strings of a musical instrument? Uh, it's a bow. Yes. Which river that rises in the Andes and flows into the Atlantic Ocean is the largest in South America, one of the longest in the world? Oh, uh, I know this pass. Who was announced as the first woman to play the Doctor in the Doctor Who television series in July 2017? Anna Foster. Jodie Whittaker. The name of which Apache chieftain was used as a battle cry by American paratroopers leaping from their aircraft in the Second World War? You'll be cross. I will be. All right. No. Geronimo! Ah. Yes. Geronimo. There you go. Uh, the other passes. Amazon is the big river. Lana Del Rey was the American singer-songwriter, which you knew. Yeah. Jack Higgins wrote The Eagle Has Landed. Halle Berry won the Best Actress Oscar for Monster's Ball. Pirates of Penzance was the Gilbert and Sullivan operetta. And Jeeves was the name of Bertie Worcester's resourceful manservant. You've now got a total nick of 15 points. Finally, Anna, again, please. And um, you play the bad... Well, I don't know whether she's a bad person, but she's, she's, not, she's not really <laughs> nice, is she, in Hollyoaks? No, she's a bit of a villain. I imagine it's more fun playing a villain, isn't it? Yeah, everyone says it is, and it definitely is. You get the... Especially in a soap, you get the soapy storylines. You get to do all the really awful things that you're not allowed to do in real life for your job. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And Hollyoaks, presumably, is going to go on forever? It seems to be... Yeah, it seems to be. It's been going for 21 or two years. Yeah. Can't remember. Before uh, you and, were born. Yeah, and it's... Well... Um, <laughs> and it's... Yeah, it's going from strength to strength, so I don't see why it would go anywhere. Good. Now, then, you have 11 points. Yes. The score to beat is 20. OK. Let's see if you can do it. Here we go <sighs> with your general knowledge questions. Which river separates Liverpool from Birkenhead and Wallasey? The Mersey. Yep, what sign of the zodiac is represented as a ram and marks the beginning of the astrological year on about the 21st of March? Taurus. Aries. Mm. Which group's album, Relaxer, was shortlisted for the 2017 Mercury Music Prize? They won the award in 2012. Alt-J. Yep. Who became the first British cyclist to win the Vuelta a España in September 2017 and only the third rider to win the Tour de France and the Vuelta in the same year? Mr. Cycleman. <laughs> Chris Froome. <laughs> Rhinology is a branch of medicine concerned with what part of the body? Mm, the nose. Yes! Which American actress, born in 1994, appeared in the Twilight Saga, The War of the Worlds and American Pastoral? Kristen Stewart. Dakota Fanning. In what musical do Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly end up forming a joint nightclub act? Chicago. Yep. Which game played on a mat with small plastic discs is started with a squidge off? Yes, an Orcadian is a native or inhabitant of which islands? Pass. What pasta made in the form of narrow ribbons takes its name from the Italian for little tongues? Tagliatelle. Linguini. Whose 2017 novel, A Legacy of Spies, features the former spymaster George Smiley? Dan Brown. John le Carre. What work did Handel compose for an outdoor festival ordered by George II in 1749 to celebrate the end of the War of the Austrian Succession? Pass. 
who appeared in a vision several times in 1858 to 14 year old Bernadette Soubirou in a grotto on the banks of the river Garde de Pau near Lourdes. Pass. Who is the new host of the television dating game show Blind Date, which was revived in 2017? Oh, I'm going to kick myself, but I don't know, pass. What feature of country houses did Capability Brown famously design? Pass. Which large flightless bird appears on the Australian coat of arms opposite the kangaroo? An ostrich. Emu, close after which British monarch was the American state of Virginia named? James I. Elizabeth I. <laughs> yeah, mm. I know. There you go. Five passes altogether, Anna. Capability Brown was famous for his landscape gardens. Paul O'Grady is famous for Blind Date, as you know. Uh, the Virgin Mary appeared to Bernadette in that grotto. Music for the Royal Fireworks was the piece that Handel wrote. And if you're an Orcadian, you come from the Orkneys. You have scored, Anna, 16 points. Thank you. So, we have a clear winner. Let's have a look at all of those scores. In fourth place with seven points, Krista. Third place, 15 points, Nick. Second place, 16 points, Anna. First place, 20 points, John. <laughs> oh. Well done. Thank you very much. I must say... Beautiful. Tempting to say all of those awards Game of Thrones has won. How does that compare? This is the one that matters. This really? is This is the one. Uh, yeah, this is, I think it's the first solo award I've ever won in my life. It's a good start. Uh, anyway, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you don't have to be a celebrity to take part in the regular Mastermind programmes. If you would like to appear in the next series on BBC Two, then visit us online at bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz and do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.